Happy birthday, as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today, I'm going to review the Magnavox 029 AM FM portable radio. I purchased this radio off of eBay for a total of $18 shipped. A little background information. Uh, I tried doing some research. This radio wasn't on the Radio Museum uh, site, so I kind of did some digging and found out that they made this radio for quite a while. Um, pretty much started in 79 and probably ended around the late 80s. I think my particular example is from 1979 or 1980, one of the early ones, because of the little manual that came with it. So let's go over the manual real quick, set the radio aside. Uh, this came in the box, or not box, in the package. I have no original box. I wish I did. Uh, we kind of need to have a complete uh, radio, but nonetheless, I will go ahead and open this up. Kind of talks about your information, serial numbers, the options it has, power source. It runs on four AA batteries. It has like a, a box you fill up, which is nice. Volume control, tuning control, band switch. Antenna, I talk about how to use the antenna. And on the back here, talks about limited warranty, maintenance, and then consumer affairs. And I thought somewhere on here I saw a date. And the date said 1979. So let's see if we can find that date again, because I know it was definitely here and was printed on this paperwork. And there it is, right up on top there, 1979. So is that a good way to date it? Eh, maybe. I mean, it could be an 80, 81, 82 radio. Um, so uh, that's my best guess. Let's go take a look at the radio now. Here it is. It's in great shape. Uh, it came in looking really nice, almost like unused, just really sharp all around looking radio. Um, what's good dimension-wise, we have... Three inches wide, five and a half inches tall, and a depth of one and a half inches. On the front, you can see our scale: uh, FM 88 to 108, AM. It's kind of reversed here, 1600 to 530. Um, I assume that goes a little higher there. Uh, volume indicator, though this particular radio, it's very difficult to see these indicators. I don't know why they use they use this like light goldish color form so it's really hard to see them and I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, speaker is about two and a quarter inch speaker which is pretty common this size radio. Magnavox. Okay left side of the radio we have the volume control and on off switch and I don't know if you can see it but as you turn it up that little colored Indicator gets bigger and smaller. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. but uh, Kind of rib design here. On that side, the right side, we have a tuning wheel. And it's pretty smooth. As you notice, you can't see anything. You have to kind of angle it in the light. And there it is. See those two little bars? Yeah, this radio is not fun to see where you're at. So this will be a challenge. <laughs> But still a fun, fun radio. Uh, and the tuning wheel goes on top too, so it's, it's kind of neat. You, you can tune it from the top and the side, which I think is cool because you have it here. Ooh, let me tune that station a little bit better. You just hit it there instead of hunting on the side. I like that. Uh, so you got on top there, you saw your antenna. Antenna just telescopes out to uh, 15 inches for your FM. And on the back, we have a band select switch. Hey, yeah, you use the word. The uh, medium wave AM, it's nice, and an FM. And then we have a vented case in our battery compartment. It has a four AA cage. I preloaded them. Don't think you need to watch me put those in. Kind of see the circuit board from here. These a lot of wax hold the components. Then it's got like a serial number, mile number ish stuff on the bottom there. Okay. So I'm going to put that back in. A little foam back in there. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll start. I think I'm at the bottom. Let's just check here. 
where am I on the dial? See, there's that light color they decided to use. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if it was built up solid, but we'll go ahead and turn it on and see what we can hear. So apparently, hear that buzzing? There it goes, it stops. I, yeah, it's a charger. So it's picking that up. So let me go ahead and start over. Can't see it. Can't see it. It's like you imagine being outside going, but having to angle it. Just a poor design choice. I can understand they're going for coolness. Possibly 650 Nashville. You know what, we know that they yeah, that was 650 control. Nashville. I think this is 670 right. local. This is 700 uh, WLW, I believe. That's Willie at Gateway Distribution in Cincinnati at 513-891-4477. That's coming in really strong. Didn't expect that. Nice. Basically, uh, the brother's local 720 WGN. Yeah, so there's that, you know. But I mean, if you don't mind having your face ripped off, that would be emotionally supportive. We sure. all know what this is. Just having a difficult time picking it up. It's really close to the other station. Bummer. Adapted for X minus one. Well, he would go on to write some popular thriller novels, which were made into motion pictures. His tale of WBBM 780 Chicago. Into theaters in 1968. <laughs> Eight sixty Toronto coming in strong tonight. So these stations over here are probably eight forty Louisville coming in faint, which is shocking. Yeah, that's eight forty of a
The price of gold and silver fluctuates over time, and you can lose money. Check with financial and legal advisors. WCBS News Time, 155, straight to business news. I'm Stephen Greenberg talking about your next job. Super Bowl betting pools are often harmless ways to have some fun in the workplace. And now there's a popular new online trivia game that's also giving workers a few minutes of fun together. It's called HQ Trivia, and a new online game begins every day at 3 p.m. So it sounds like we got 880, 880 uh, WCBS on New York City, which is really great. Uh, so maybe I'll get the 740 better in the future. It feels good. It just sounds really nice. It's a local WLS station. Bad. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? It's come to the top of the hour here, but we're going to come back and talk more about your work the Duke station. Excuse we'll be me. back in a moment on Coast to Coast AM. The free Coast Zone email newsletter is sent out six days a week. It is a great way to keep up on all things Coast. With detailed program recaps, the fascinating today and strange news listings, upcoming guest info, and weekly free audio clips, it's a must-have for Coast fans. Look for the free sign-up on the coasttocoastam.com homepage. Okay, it's waiting for call letters. Come on. Fajnie się dla dzieciaków tutaj w Wielisławie szykuje, bo i mogły się uczyć bez mrodu. Na stronie internetowej BIP Gminy Wieliszew pojawiło się zaproszenie do składania ofert w związku z planowanym nabyciem oczyszczacji powietrza. Really hard to tell where you're at. sensitivity, a lot of stations, but not really selective. Toledo, that's kind of cool. I guess they could fish out some sensitive stations. Have some fun with this. Don't work 
goes through the AM dial there. Yeah, it seemed pretty good. Uh, sensitive on some stations. Some of the big clear audio stations came in really nice. Let's see what it can do on the FM here real quick. Go back to our 88 there. Okay, let's uh, turn it on. Just using regular uh, whip antenna here, 15 inches. Book them, Dan. <laughs> and keep this radio angled for your pleasure so you can see that tuning indicator. And sings in the world and sometimes in the church. The memo is selective and an attempt to discredit and undermine the work of the special counsel Robert Fuller. There, with that eardrums. Strong station. It's a good test of the FM when it can pick up this classical station here, 90.5. Um, yeah, in this location, it's, this is really good. This is a good FM receiver. Good tone. Always at one station. Whoa.
a classical station, notoriously difficult to get in this location. Oh no, classical rock. Cool. Here's my classical. Awesome. Not much left over here. Okay, well, wow, let's do a little final thoughts on this radio. I really like the color scheme. Uh, this like silver brown tone to it with this darker brown on the back. Um, it just looks really good. Uh, I like the dial as far as the numbers are clear. I just this tuning thing is just just ridiculous. Uh, I wonder if people take it apart and like paint the line a brighter color so you can see what's going on. But it's the same exact color as this gold, and it's so hard to see that. So that's the one downside of the radio. But boy, I like how it has tuning up here, and it's the same knob here. That's really nice. Um, the design's nice. I do like how it sits up, no problem. The wrist strap's ridiculous, though. I mean, what the heck? It's on the bottom of the radio, too. I mean, gorilla wrist. Jeez. Um, but yeah, this radio uh, it was a solid buy at 18 bucks. Uh, I can't see going wrong with this for collector's sake, for usability's sake. Um, this radio has a lot of life in it. Um, sensitivity on the AM was tolerable. I like it. Um, would it compare to the little Magic Nia? Uh, probably not. This thing has just been amazing me. Uh, but you can see those other videos. But for as far as vintage you know, that vintage vibe and the sound quality, you know, this trumps that little Nia no problem. Um, I would pick this radio uh, any day of the week um, as a go-to radio for fun. Uh, you heard the FM sounded really good in this location. I'm really happy with that FM performance, and it might be become a good FM radio that I can use all the time. So there you go. I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. If you want to see more of these type of videos, uh, hit the subscribe button. Also, the uh, uh, channel is taking donations. Um, to keep this going, uh, we do need some funding. Um, we have a PayPal Direct if you so feel so inclined. We have uh, Amazon wish list we added. Uh, so some items there you might uh, find that are inexpensive that may help the channel out. And we also have the Patreon page. And uh, a lot of folks joining up on that. Um, that's amazing. We have, we're going to have rewards. We're going to have a giveaway, a raffle. We're going to have a monthly giveaway once we hit our $75 a month goal. So yeah, there's a lot of things uh, out there to help this channel along if you feel so inclined again to help us. 
I appreciate everything you do, and thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.